Let's consider an example to understand the concept of re-referencing an index. In this table, the original index has a reference period of 2015, in which the index is equal to 100. The next line shows the year-to-year -year percent growth rates of the index. To change the reference period of the index to 2020, we divide each observation in the original index series by 111, the value of the index in 2020, then multiply by 100. For example, the new value for 2016 is the old value, 103, divided by 111 times 100, which equals 92.8. These calculations are applied to the full index number series, creating the new index with the reference period of 100 in 2020. In the last line of the table, we confirm that the growth rates of the index are unaffected by re-referencing the index. The advantage of re-referencing the index is that it draws the attention of the data user to the more recent reference period. For example, a user may need to use a calculator to learn that the change from 111 in 2020 to 116 in 2021 is a 4.5% increase. With 2020 as the reference period, though, the user can immediately see that the change from 100 to 104.5 is a 4.5% increase. Because users tend to be more interested in recent periods, it is convenient to have a recent reference period.